Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on my、um, day where I decided to paint some Studio Ghibli.、Um, so I'm starting off with painting, putting on some masking tape.、Um, I decided to paint a couple of scenes rather than one because I just thought it'd be more interesting and. It'll be more fun, I suppose. So yeah, this is actually probably one of the first times I paint Studio Ghibli.、Um, I think growing up, I I really liked painting manga, especially in primary school to high school. But I think my high school art teachers, and later on in university, I went to art school. Always encouraged me to not really go in that direction,、um, but go more realistic or contemporary art style. So here I am,、uh, a graduated art student,、um, going back to paint whatever I like. So yeah, this is actually pretty fun. I think. It took a little longer than I thought it would take, but it was fun. My recordings, I'm still pretty noob at doing that. As you can see, I kind of miss the first two paintings because my camera focuses on the tripod leg instead. But yeah. Anyways, what I'm painting now is actually.、Um, I think it's from Thumbelina. I've actually haven't watched that one. I know that story, but yeah, my favorite one is actually Howl's Moving Castle.、Um, and I watched the, most of the other ones like Spirited Away and Ponyo, and When the Wind Rises. But yeah, but yeah. It's really nice because all the sceneries are really beautiful and the colors. And right now I'm actually in lockdown. And basically, we can't go out because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. So, so yeah, this is why. I decided to try something new, like paint Studio Ghibli and also film myself, which was actually quite tricky. Like I learned how to, like I know how to do it, but there is a lot of time and effort in filming. Well, not really filming, like. Filming is like kind of putting your camera there, wherever looks nice, but mostly the editing part. So yeah, like color grading,、um, putting on the clips together, watching them, and yeah, like I sometimes try to do the animation in the start, but it turned out to be really low resolution. I use Adobe Animate, and I try to look up the tutorial, but it was a bit tricky. Oh well. Okay. Well, here now I'm, I'm painting some cherry blossoms.、Um, so right now, in where I'm from, they're actually coming in bloom. So, so yeah, that kind of inspired why I decided to paint that. And also, I think a lot of nice animes have cherry blossoms, and I always listen to the cherry blossom lo-fi mix on YouTube. So, hence why cherry blossoms. Yes, my voice just cracked. <laughs>、um, but also, I remember like this scene from Your Lie in April. Uh, this anime, I really watched like a couple of episodes and then I gave up. But my friend said that it was 
really good and really sad. But yeah, I didn't continue it. But yeah, I, one anime that I did finish was Orange, and that, that was really good. It was about like these high school students who received a letter from、um, their future selves and telling them that one of their friends is going, something bad is going to happen to them. I won't spoil it too much, but that's just the gist of it. So, yeah. Anyways, I really found that painting Studio Ghibli was quite interesting. In layering the colors, I feel like I haven't, I don't know, I haven't painted in a while. The last thing I painted was this landscape painting as well of this tree on a hill.、Um, but yeah, if you hear that squeaky sound, that's actually me singing <laughs> because the birds outside w a s singing this tune. And it sounded like frozen, let it go. So, yes. Alright, we're on to the last painting. <clears throat> And it is Totoro. So, usually when I paint, I layer like a color beneath. And then I go over the top. And then do some strokes so that. The color below peeks through. And yeah, that's basically what I did today. So yeah, it's almost finished. You can see a finished, sort of finished product right about now. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye bye.